The United States would like Internet governance to remain largely as it is, that is, free of intergovernmental controls. Um, there are countries that um, are uh, concerned that what uh, sometimes are being called critical Internet resources are not subject to intergovernmental controls that seem to be uh, either floating freely or uh, sometimes in what I think is an erroneous uh, uh, perspective. Uh, take the view that the United States controls uh, the critical Internet resources. Um, but I think notwithstanding the unusual reality that uh, something so important to the world isn't really subject to uh, intergovernmental or UN type controls, um, the fact that it works so well uh, means that it should remain free of these kinds of controls. Now we have in the United States, I think, two principal reasons for preferring that. One is we're afraid that any kind of intergovernmental controls would harm the dynamism of the Internet, would prevent it from continuing to develop in a kind of organic fashion, uh, uh, moving uh, uh, to opportunities uh, to, for improvement, for expansion in various ways efficiently. Uh, so we're most concerned that that not happen. We also are uh, concerned that um, the openness of the Internet not be diminished. Um, the United States has a very large stake in uh, Internet freedom. Uh, Secretary Clinton gave a speech in January that uh, was uh, very highly publicized in terms of our, our commitment to that. Um, I can tell you this morning something happened that doesn't happen every day. I'd like to note that. And that is the Washington Post editorial page actually said something pleasant about the State Department. And <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to, um, I'd like to uh, if you'll indulge me, quote at least uh, one part of the editorial because I do think it's, it's highly relevant to today. Um, the editorial said, in part, a cyberspace without walls or barriers where people can assemble and express themselves freely without fear of censorship or imprisonment will make the world safer for the United States and for democracies everywhere. Continued public-private partnership, prioritization of Internet freedom and diplomacy, and the wise deployment of allocated funds will move this ideal closer to reality. Now, this, uh, this in fact, is something that uh, uh, is a reflection of um, uh, very important priorities at the State Department, very important priorities uh, in terms of our, uh, our diplomacy. I'd like to, uh, I'd like to conclude with this thought. Um, that, uh, as I mentioned before, the degree of participation in the Internet, in, in all of its various dimensions, from all of the various stakeholders, is something that I think is unusual in human affairs, and it's essential that it continue. Um, the Internet ecosystem is very successful, but it's also vulnerable. And it's vulnerable, I think, or at least it's potentially vulnerable to the possibility that, that parochial interests might attempt to appropriate one or more of the institutional structures that uh, have grown up around the Internet that are, are a, an important part of its ecosystem. Uh, the way to avoid that, I think, is to, uh, and, and to avoid any disproportionate influence with respect to the Internet, is uh, with the continued participation of uh, all of the stakeholders, uh, governments, companies, uh, civil society, academicians, um, uh, the whole range of contributors to uh, this, uh, this very wonderful uh, and now critically important uh, institution.